Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video here. We have an interesting one as I'm going to be talking about Toma as well as some potential banners that are going to come in Genshin Impact 2.2. So it's pretty much near. All right. First things first, uh, the Raiden Shogun Ball has been released very recently. <laughs> it is going pretty interestingly. I myself enjoy Ball and or, or the Raiden Shogun and I'm having a pretty good time. The Kokomi banner is coming very soon as well. So you're going to have to keep an eye on that. So I'm very interested on why Genshin Impact decided to release only this image of Toma. Well, this one too. But only released an image of toma usually genshin impact just shows the new characters for the next patch so seeing only one character here is pretty interesting to me so the first thing that comes to my mind is he's going to have some pretty tough competition in terms of what character he is first things first he is a pyro character he's a pyro character we have so many already so he's going to have a lot of competition in that sense. Not to mention, he's a polearm user. If you guys see in the back right there, you can see a polearm. We already have two incredible pyro polearm users, Hu Tao and Xiang Ling. Both of them being absolutely incredible. So having Toma also be a pyro polearm is an interesting choice to me. So. There's a question going around. Is he going to be a Pyro Polearm 4 star? Or is he going to be a Pyro Polearm 5 star? And to me that doesn't make much of a difference really. I think that if he's a 4 star, great. But the only thing that if he is a 4 star, his banner is going to have a rerun. Which I mean like Xiao is going to be on that banner. Or Albedo is going to be on that banner, or maybe even Hu Tao or Ganyu. Those individuals are going to have the banner, and he's going to be on it if he is a four star. But if he is a five star, he's going to have his own banner, and I'm wondering what that will be, or if. So I'm very interested in that sense. To me, the mo the one that makes the most sense is maybe Hu Tao. I think if because Hu Tao is the earliest one that was released, because we had Hu Tao, and then we had Xiao, and then we had Ganyu. I think, do not quote me on that, how the order went. So if there was going to be a rerun, I do believe it would have Hu Tao in it. That's one banner I'm talking about here. So we're going to have two banners that have the potential to have a rerun. So it's all speculation on who's going to be on the rerun. And a lot of people have their suspicions and speculation on who it's going to be. So it's very, very interesting to read about that. And I think personally, the first banner is going to have Hu Tao on it. And then the second banner, if they're not going to release a new character, or if they're not going to announce a new character, I think it would have Xiao on it. I, for some reason, don't believe Ganyu is going to be on it. It's just the way the banners are organized. I don't know if they're going to exactly push Ganyu to be on the rerun. How? However, if he is a 5-star character, we don't have to worry too much about that. Another interesting thing here is in the Genshin Impact actual... Oh, you can see actually Goru right here. So Goru might be coming soon as well. It's uh, very interesting how they put his name right there. Anyways, I didn't want to keep on rambling about uh, Toma, but he, he looks really interesting. I do like his character design and he is a character, a male character that might release as a 4 star. This is going to be the first 4 star male character released in Gacha. What I mean by that is a new character that they just made that's going to be male, presumably. It's good. I mean, that's pretty interesting to me. <laughs> um, but if he is a DPS, he's going to get outshined by Hu Tao and Xiang Ling. Um, if he is a sub DPS, he's going to have a lot of competition with Xiang Ling. And if he is a support, I do hope he is going to crush it. I do hope that I really do hope he is support. We have enough pyro DPS units. I really want a pyro support that can really help give competition to. Sh I really do hope he is a support. It's all speculation from here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel as well. I really do appreciate all the love and support you have shown this channel. And let's get to 500 subscribers very soon, maybe. That will be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.